Hello everyone and welcome to my review of the LXQt desktop. So LXQt is the future of LXDE. It's also an amalgamation with the RazorQt desktop, with the RazorQt desktop having pretty much disappeared now. So it's not just a case of changing the desktop, no. You see, LXDE would use the GTK framework. LXQt, well the name implies, it uses the Qt framework, the Qt 5 framework specifically. So I'm going to have to do more of an in-depth review of this really. So I'm looking at it in Sparky Linux, which has the option of using the LXQt desktop out of the box. There aren't too many distros around with LX, LXQt out of the box. I know Lubuntu should be heading that way, but they've been saying forever, yes, we'll be using it. Yes, we'll be using it next time around. Yeah, right. Okay, they'll get there at some point. So if you want the TLDR version, it's a very respectable progression of the LXDE desktop. You've got the same look and feel with a few additional features. So. I actually think it's a really good desktop for that. Let's take a more in-depth review of it. Now starting with a look at the memory usage, you can see we're using 239 mega RAM, so it is slightly lower than LXDE was, but it is slightly higher than Lumina desktop is. So this is the Q terminal. Yes, don't ask again. You also have the option of launching it as drop-down by pressing F12. Let's get rid of that. Looking at the layout of the desktop, it is very reminiscent of the LXDE desktop. We have the application launcher, although one difference this time is we have a text searcher here. So I can start typing and it responds immediately by finding applications. One weird quirk with this is, that let's say I click away, and I go back into it, it keeps your text search there. <laughs> so you can either press backspace or click on that cross icon. So we've got a desktop switcher, launcher for common applications, in this case Sparky Linux have put the system upgrade there. On the right hand side we have network manager, clipboard viewer, removable media, time calendar and show desktop button. So no real change in terms of the initial look of the desktop. Opening some of the applications now, so we've got PC Man FM, which is the cute equivalent of PC Man FM from LXDE. Look at it in the about. And you can see the about box points to the LXQt website. Seems to be the same functionality here. Open a new tab. Uh, let's go full screen. I can double click on that to make it go full screen. Uh, there's no split screen browsing because F3 opened up a file searcher. Oh, F4 just launches a terminal. Halfway to the behavior of Dolphin there. Let's look at viewing some files. So the image viewer. So LX image, this refers to the LXD project, so this presumably is an old version. Not been updated yet. Are we do anything much with this? Uh, no, it's not really fair to review this one because it's an old application. I'll have to grab a bash script from somewhere, so. All right, let's open up this file, and I think this is the old version still, isn't it? So yeah, Leafpad, um, yeah, the old GTK based text editor. So we still have the period of transition here. Let's look on the behavior of maximizing, minimizing the application. So can I drag it down from the top of the screen? No, I can't. Uh, see if I can do the arrow snap effect. Nope. That just pushed it to a new desktop, didn't it? Yeah. So drag into the edge of the screen it moves the desktop. So is there anything else that would be cute specific here? No. Nope. Task manager. So is that the old or new? LX task, the LXDE team. No, that's the old one. So let's go into the LXQt configurations. So what can we change here? Appearance. So we've got the icon themes, the cute themes. So let's try ambience. Oh, I've got a darker theme now. Nice. The font. Nope, nothing. Cursor. I've only got one cursor theme on here. Brightness. No. The desktop settings. Uh, so the wallpaper, the icon size. Nothing much interesting there. Notifications. No, oh, so you can set the position of the notifications. File associations. Yeah, yeah. it's going to be fairly self explanatory. What I'm still expecting to see is more of a theme setting adjustment. There used to be quite a lot of choice with the application title bars in LXDE. But no such luck here, is there? Anything in system tools that would help? No, not really. Preferences? No. If it is there and I've missed it, I do apologize. The last thing I'm looking at here is just a Sparky specific program. This is why I've been using Sparky Linux quite a lot. 
the Aptus application. Got a nice easy way of changing desktops. Very handy that. So let's look at the LXQ desktop. It is a very respectable alternative to LXDE. They've got most of the features here. You can see we're still in a period of transition with using the GTK base and the Qt base for some of the LXDE specific applications. It seems to be a very slow progress and perhaps now looking at it further I can understand why the likes of Lubuntu haven't jumped towards it yet. The applications that have been ported across to Qt certainly function as you'd expect them. The look and feel of the desktop is certainly very reminiscent of LXDE. And the only thing that really I can see that's missing there is the ability to customize the application title bars. But thanks for watching. I'll see you all later.